Good morning, students. Today we will continue with our poem "Go Not to the Temple" by Rabindranath Tagore. In the previous session, we did the summary, reference to context, and explanation of first stanza. Now we will continue further. So, students, open your English literature books on page number forty-nine, and before beginning with the explanation of the second stanza i would like to discuss the word meanings and the phrases related to the second stanza so coming on the second stanza underline the word altar and write down a table before idol of god then sin means bad deeds pride quality of being proud bow bent humility state of being humble fellow men companions now write down the phrases underline remove the darkness of sin and write down paap ke andhere ko mitana then to bow down your head apna sir jhukane ko so let's start with the reading of the second stanza go not to the temple to light candles before the altar of god first remove the darkness of sin pride and ego from your heart go not to the temple to bow down your head in prayer first learn to bow in humility before your fellow men here altar means a table before idol of god sin a bad deeds pride is the quality of being proud bow to bend humility is a state of being humble fellow men are companions now remove the darkness of sin paap ke andhere ko mitana to bow down your head apna sar jhukane ko now in these lines the poet says that we should not go to the temple to light candles in front of the idol of god rather we should end the darkness we should first finish the darkness that is present in our heart the darkness of sin pride and ego which is there in our heart he further says that we need not bow before god but we should be humble to all now here darkness of sin is a metaphor because here the poet is comparing the heart of the sinner to the darkness of the night so as this comparison is made without using as a like so it is a metaphor now let's start with the explanation of the second stanza now in the same way you are to write the name as you have written on the top of the page go no to the temple hint will be the first 3 to 4 words of your second stanza that is go not to the temple your fellow men now coming on reference to context reference to context we had already discussed yesterday in the previous video i am going to repeat it for you these lines have been taken from the poem go not to the temple written by rabindranath tagore in this poem the poet says that serving humanity is like loving god now coming on the explanation now put the heading explanation now what does the poet want to say in this line in these lines the poet says that we should not go to the temple to light the candles in front of god rather we should end the darkness of sin pride and ego from our heart he further says that we should not bow before god rather we should be humble to all now let's discuss the word meanings and phrases of third stanza downtrodden means poor and needy forgiveness is act of forgiving sins are bad deeds phrases 
अंडरलाइन टू प्रे ऑन बैंडेड नीज झुके हुए घुटनों पर प्रार्थना करने को टू लिफ्ट सम वन हु इज डाउन ट्रोडन जरूरतमंद को ऊपर उठाने को टू आस्क फॉर फर्गिवनेस फॉर योर सेंस अपने पापों के लिए क्षमा मांगने को दोज हु हैव हर्ट यू जिन्होंने तुम्हें दुख पहुंचाया है Now let's start with the reading of third stanza. Go not to the temple to pray on bended knees. First bend down to lift someone who is downtrodden. Go not to the temple to ask for forgiveness for your sins. First forgive from your heart those who have hurt you. Now downtrodden means poor and needy. Forgiveness means act of forgiving. sins are bad deeds now underline to pray on bended knees and write down jhuke hue ghutnon par prarthna karne ko to lift someone who is downtrodden zaruratmand ko upar uthane ko to ask for forgiveness for your sins apne paapon ke liye kshama maangne ko those who have hurt you jinhone tumhe dukh pahunchaya ho now In this stanza the poet wants to tell us that we need not bend on knees to pray rather we should lift the poor and needy He says that we should not go to the temple to ask for forgiveness for our bad deeds but we should first forgive those who have ever hurt us Now let's start with the explanation of third stanza <coughs> first we will write hint hint will be go not to the temple dash who have hurt you <coughs> in the next line reference to the context reference to context will be the same as we had done in our first and second stanza now coming on explanation now what does the poet want to say in these lines in these lines the poet tells us not to bend on knees to pray <laughs> rather bent to lift the poor and needy he adds that we should not go to the temple to ask for forgiveness for our sins we should first forgive those who have hurt us in this way we will do the explanation of the third stanza i hope you have understood the explanation of second and third stanza now try to plan the central idea and back exercises of this poem i want you to read the poem again and again for better understanding thank you